it's working. Check one, two. I guess it's working. Um, I couldn't upload this on my phone, so now I have to use my high quality camera. Anyways, just got done watching the uh, the Packer game. Um, these are my thoughts after the game. Um, let's start off with the defense. This defense misses Mike Daniels. You need Mike Daniels in this defense for this to be the legitimate top 10 defense I think this can be. I do believe we have the cornerbacks. The linebackers probably, if anything, need more work. But the line is there if Mike Daniels is there. The line is definitely not getting any penetration, not enough sacks on Dalton because they don't know, they do not have a caliber player like Mike Daniels. A lot of teams don't. This guy's engine is unbelievable. He requires a uh, two guys to guard him to to block this guy because he is that big and that strong and that forceful to to penetrate the inside middle of running games, you know. You're not running up the middle if Mike Daniels is there. And it showed in this game. We came out so sloppy. So sloppy. Um, it, it was painful. I mean, Rodgers, I was looking at my fantasy team and I was like, this guy's got me, t like, I, I my one of my fantasy leagues scores a lot of points. On an average, most quarterbacks on a, on a good average day score 150 points or something. At halftime, Rodgers had like 10 or 7 and and. I mean, we're talking like Joe Flacco this morning. Like, Joe Flacco threw for like, I think, 28, 28 yards or something. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was not good defensive-wise. But they did show up and, and figured out Cincinnati's offense. I honestly missed the third quarter. Um, I had to do some errands. So I missed part of the third quarter, but I did see that Cincinnati blew a chance to kick a field goal. Um, and the offense was steadily starting to come alive in the second half. Um, I did watch the end of the, the fourth quarter and the overtime, obviously, as I'm recording this. Um, but yeah, uh, sloppy game on the defensive end and a sloppy, again, it's another sloppy game from Aaron Rodgers. Um, I'm not going to sprinkle and uh, sugarcoat this. Um, Rodgers had another kind of off game. Uh, even though he won the game, um, that's how you want your quarterbacks to finish almost every game, no matter how ugly they start. It's still up to a Rodgers standard. Definitely not there. Uh, he needs to play a better first half because I, 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 it drives me crazy that we need to come back and win these uh, games against a very hungry Cincinnati team who has not won in two weeks. Their head coach is on the hot seat. Their offensive coordinator is brand new, which I said last week too, this was not going to be an easy game um, because the Green Bay did not know how to prepare for offensively the strategy that Cincinnati would input into this week. So it kind of put us at a disadvantage and it showed uh, defensively. I mean, missing guys like Daniels, Nick Perry, um, Kentrell Bryce, those guys, I think Devon House even sat this game, so we had our, our one of our best starting corners was out too. Um, you know, Randall Cobb was out. We lost David Bakhtiari. I I mean, I didn't know how many times Rodgers was getting sacked. I mean, I gotta find this stat. I haven't found it yet, but Rodgers was getting sacked. I feel like for the whole game. I mean, the line wasn't blocking well. I mean, rushing rushing wise, we need to block better to to create better lanes for Ty Montgomery. Um, you know, there's a lot of things this team needs to work on. And uh, I'm glad we're getting wins, though. We need these wins because they are big time before we actually turn the switch on. I don't think the switch on is just yet for the Green Bay Packers. But crucially, I really want Mike Daniels back. Daniels is the dude. He is the guy. He is the, the freaking Goku of the Dragon Ball Z, as you can... <laughs> He's the dude. Like, we need him on the field. And, uh, you know, we almost lost a close game. And I'm glad, hey, I'm glad Rodgers got the monkey off his back for the uh, overtime losses, the consecutive eight-time overtime losses that he has done, um, which are, most of the time aren't entirely his fault. Probably my most signifying, um, big important thing that happened in this game is the defense stepped up in overtime. We got a three and out. 
we got a three and out, man. We got it. We did it. And put the ball in Aaron's hands for the first time that I can recall in I don't know how many years. We always start overtime playing defense. Arizona, we didn't get the ball. Uh, I think Seattle one year didn't get the ball. Um, there's been too many countless games where I'm like, we didn't even get a chance on offense for Rodgers to do anything. And and that goes on his record. Like, some of those games aren't even his fault. That he didn't get the fucking ball. Um, sorry, I'm a little sick. <laughs> um, but anyways, Geronimo Allison, this is the reason why we kept him on the team. Um, six receptions for 122 yards. Um, Rodgers, again, he had 313 yards for three touchdowns. Um, also, the biggest, biggest... Biggest problem uh, with today's game was, uh, which which put us in this position was Rogers' interception. He threw the out route um, to to Nelson, which a cornerback I forget what the cornerback was, but he jumped all over it and ran it back for pick six. We can't have that, man. We already had that last week with the fumble, you know, just down the line. We didn't know if it was fair or not. Can't have that. It it's just too. Turnovers are crucial. Usually you win games and die by games by the turnover margin. So that too um, was a big problem uh, that put us in this hole. So we, we had to dig deep, come back, and uh, fight like hell to beat the Cincinnati team that were really hungry. And we snatched it out of them. We snatched the win right out of their hand. They were right there. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, Cincinnati, I feel for you guys. Yeah, Bengals. Uh, I, I was on the Cincinnati... Marvin Lewis spam wagon to not fire um, him, but I think it's it's time he, he's gonna get fired. Uh, I I just I don't see a team that wants to play for him anymore, uh, especially losing games like this. Uh, you lost two home games, now you lose one away game like this against a, a, a legitimate NFC team. That's tough, and Marvin Lewis has to know it's coming. Um, if he definitely does not, if they somehow do not make the playoffs, which I am already banking they, that Cincinnati doesn't, they will uh, fire Marvin Lewis. So hang in there, guys. Uh, Cincinnati, you got better days ahead of you. But uh, another a bit tough loss for you guys, too. So um, great win for Green Bay, tough loss for Cincinnati, and uh, I, I'm just not impressed yet. I, I, I've... Haven't really felt great uh, until uh, week one was probably the best I felt because we beat a good S Seattle team. We had everybody, and then everybody got hurt. Didn't have any all of our players that we needed for Atlanta, and kind of went into the same situation going into this week. And now we have the uh, Chicago Bears for Thursday, so short week too. Which uh, after the, hopefully Chicago, we can get a lot of guys healthy. Um, for the uh, next next week's game, but with that being said, it was a good good w overtime win. I'm really proud that these guys fought and hung in there and played good defense in the second half. We only gave up three points. Um, they probably should have had more. <laughs> I think they uh, Cincinnati missed a field goal, which hurt them because that would have sealed the deal had we come back and uh, made that touchdown pass that Aaron Rodgers threw to uh, Nelson, which was an out route. Uh, to the corner. Um, he sure made up for that. He redeemed himself there. Way to go, Aaron. <laughs> but uh, anyways, um, Aaron, let's just play better first half next week, or this Thursday, because uh, we, need you to, we need you to not turn the ball over, and it, and it hurts because that's what we were fighting back. I mean, this game would have been a whole lot different had we not turned that ball over. We, we would have given up uh, potentially just 21 points, you know, or 14, you know, 17 points. Uh, you never know. But the defense hung in there second half. We fought back strong. And we tied this freaking game up. And we went into overtime. Crossed my fingers. We won. Um, but let's let's move on to next week. Since, uh, Cincinnati. Chicago's coming off a good win off of Se uh, Seattle. Steelers. I'm mixing up my S's here. Um... The Steelers, um, I, I feel more confident going into this game than I did uh, th this last game uh, against Cincinnati, Cincinnati because uh, 
I just believe when uh, a team that goes to zero uh, and two and gets a good tough win off a, a team like the Steelers in their home, and now they're coming to Lambeau, um, they tend to feel a little bit too good. So maybe we can catch them in a good spot. Uh, but we still got to count for Jordan Howard um, and uh, Cohen. Those guys are legit. Those guys are the playmakers on uh, Chicago. Defensive-wise, I don't really know what Chicago has defensively. It looks like they shut down the Steelers pretty well today. Um, but then again, who knows? Maybe offensively, you know, seems like the Steelers are in a shamble of themselves with all the stuff that's been going on with them. Anyways, though, I'm rambling too much. I'm already getting into next week. Good win for Green Bay. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you guys think about the defense. Um, I feel obviously different, but maybe majority of people, Packers fans, they always want to call for Don Capers head. No, we need, we just need Mike Daniels back. We need him back. He's, he is the captain of the defense for a reason. He is the legit dude that we need. Um, other than that, really impressed with the, uh, win then. Really proud. We do. I'm glad we got an overtime win with Rodgers. That's something to celebrate. So, uh, See you guys next time. I'll see you guys after Thursday. And uh, go Pack Go.